We want to show you how to verify tire pull or lateral force or make a printout using the road force touch balancer. When you want to verify lateral force or make a vehicle printout, it's important to make sure that the straight track emblem is shown on the load roller on the screen so that we're taking the proper measurements as the assemblies are run across the balancer. When we're ready to look at the vehicle plan view, we press the chassis tab in the upper left and it appears here in this window. Notice that we have these tags here um, and they're showed on the icon in the upper left. One, two, three, four designates the order that they come off of the vehicle. Now here, the tags on the screen here show how they're going to go out the door after service has been performed. So once I've measured all four of these, I can say show least vibration and it will arrange these tires such that the largest road force is as far away from the driver as possible. If I say show least pull, it's going to arrange the tires such that we have the least amount of pull available. Notice that the pull is displayed using this blue arrow, whether it's pulling to the left or to the right. By switching these front tires, notice how easy that is to do. I'm actually just dragging one tire, changing the position of these tires, uh, and therefore flipping the sign of the pull. I can also try different combinations, moving them from front to back to get whatever desired combination I want. If I need more information, I press the arrow in the upper right, and you'll see the window expands out, and now I see a tire stack as well as a chart with some additional information. It's important to note that tires are not saved to the tire stack until we finish balancing and we see OK, OK on the screen. So the tire stack is the history of the last eight tires that ran across the machine. Now notice that these tires are of different size as well. See how they change. So I can look at this and say, well, you know, this tire number three probably isn't my tire. So I'm going to do a little work and reassign these. Notice how easy it is to reassign these. Again, one was the left front as it came off the vehicle. Two was the right front. Three was the left rear. And four was the right rear. Now that I have them properly assigned, I can verify that by looking over the chart. These are all the same diameter, 26.7 inches in this case. If I got confused, I can even say touch for extra information here and see what wheel weights were applied to that wheel to help me track it down if they're in a pile or not. Um, I didn't mark them as they came off the vehicle. So I can close this. Now again, I have my vehicle plan view. And now, as before, I can change these combinations, try different combinations by dragging these tags around to get the value that I want. If I want to go with least pull, let's say in this case, I'll set it up for that. And I can say print now, press vehicle summary. And now I get to my window, which shows my vehicle summary printout. I can touch in this window, enter information, say hide keyboard. I can enter information for name, vehicle, mileage, VIN as well. I also have these option uh, buttons that I can turn different features of the printout on and off just by pressing them. So it's very easy and quick to configure a printout, whatever you may need. When I'm ready and I like what I have, I just say print and we'll print the summary. When I've printed my summary, I go ahead and hit the cancel button. And then I can go ahead and press the tab and that screen will go away. As you can see, it's very simple to verify tire pull or to make a printout with the Road Force Touch Balancer.